Hey, what's going on, Internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. And I think this is more of a trendy thing that's starting to take place now where you're animating text to a beat of a song. And I think that's always been around, but I'm starting to see this more and more. And, you know, I think it's really cool and I think it's time to do a tutorial on it. So this is something that's very easy to do, but there's a very specific uh, workflow when doing this. You need to be able to mark out your song and figure out where the beats are at. So obviously the number one thing, you need to find a song that gives you some opportunities to sync uh, text up to the song. So the song that I'm using is from premiumbeat.com called Break the Mold. Uh, and no, Premium Beat is not sponsoring this video. I just happened to do a few tutorials for them. And if you guys are wondering, I have a couple of tutorials on their website. Uh, if you go there, you should be able to find some of my videos. So I thought that was a good opportunity to uh, name drop uh, Premium Beat. But uh, let's go ahead and get started in here. So, so here I am in a composition with a song already in it, Break the Mold. And if we come here, select the song and hit LL on our keyboard, we'll be able to see the audio waveforms. And that's extremely important when uh, trying to figure out when to sync things up. So let's go ahead and play this out real fast. Okay, so basically what we're looking for is every time the song kind of beats, uh, that's when we need to add a marker. So we can kind of just take a quick look through here. So there's really no markers up here, but... So right there we'll hear our first beat. And what we're gonna do is make sure the layer selected and go up to Layer, Add Marker. And you see that it added a marker right there. And now we gotta find our second beat. So let's play it again. So obviously this is a beat, this will be a beat as well, and there's probably a few beats in here. So we'll go ahead and listen to that, but we'll go up to layer, add marker, and we'll come back here and play through song. So that's the beat, and that, there's not a beat right there. So there's two beats right here. So we'll go to layer, add marker, and we'll go to this one, layer, add marker. So these are two beats right here. So pretty much anytime there's a nice peak in your uh, track, that means that's probably a, a point when you want to sync. Now, of course, depending on the song, this might all vary up, but we're going to keep going through this. All right, so let's kind of go ahead and predict when these beats are going to be at, so we don't have to listen to the song anymore. So there's a beat. You know, we have a beat right here. And then we have probably some down here as well. So I went ahead and marked out the rest of our clip here without even having to listen to the song. So let's go here and see what we got. Beat, 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 beat. Beat, 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 beat. Okay, so <laughs> so it looks like we matched up the song perfectly and now we can begin uh, putting our text in here and we don't even have to listen to the song anymore. We just know what's gonna happen. So we go to our first marker down here. Let's grab the text title tool and we can type out our text. So, so I'm gonna come here and just type in in because I wanna be able to spell out the phrase in this, but uh, I'm gonna just type in in for this one. I'm gonna change the font to bold. And I'm also using the typeface uh, Gotham, which is one of my favorite typefaces, but uh, I'm just using a sans serif uh, typeface here. And I'm gonna go up to Window Align, and I'm gonna center these up, and move this over by a touch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this text, and move this over, and type in, in this. All right, and then I'll kind of space these apart. So the typography has a big deal when doing this, so you gotta think about you know clean text, you know, it's text that makes sense for the story that you're trying to tell, but we'll come here once we have our text in here, and we need to go ahead and trim this up. So we don't want this text to come on until this beat. So we'll come here, we'll select both these layers, and just trim in the endpoint here. So no text, and then that just you know comes right on there. And then of course we want the text to end at the second beat right here to bring on our new text. So we'll come here, make sure both layers are selected, go up to edit, split layer, and just delete them. So these come up and then boom, they're gone. And then we'll come to the second marker here. Maybe we'll just come here and just duplicate one of these, you know, move it over, you know, and stretch this one out to the end of our second marker down here, sorry, our third marker. So obviously we got, you know, this starts at this marker and this end at the next marker. So we'll come here and start typing out our new text and I'll do, and we'll come here and switch this out to maybe after and we'll type in after effects tutorial. So. Be right back when that's all done. Of course, you can just duplicate these from now on, and it's much easier to type out the text. So, jumped ahead here, and obviously, the text is nicely in place. I changed the weight of the typeface here to light. So, it's always cool to keep in mind. And of course, now we can keep going through this. So, in my original here, we have create text to the beat. So, of course, we would go through here and we would, you know, sync up rest of the song here. So, and we come here and type in create, and we would change this back to book, sorry, to bold, and we make this bigger and we would center this up. Now, of course, you guys kind of get this idea, you know, we come here, we trim the endpoint down to the marker here, and we go to the second marker here, and we split the layer. So it's pretty straightforward from here. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this off real fast so we can jump into the animation part. All right, so I've synced up the rest of the song. All 
All right, so so this workflow is very quick to do and it's easy as well. So let's talk about animating some of this. So the thing is, we don't really want to have the text animate from off screen because once the beat happens, we want to be able to see the text. But I also think we need to animate a little bit so it's just not static text, which can be cool. But you know, you know, I'm lazy, but I'm not that lazy. Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna go over the top here. But um, I think putting a little bit of work in here can make this a little bit more impactful. So we're going to do some very subtle animations. So what I'm going to do is go to in this over here, select those layers, hit P on our keyboard for position, and I'll add a keyframe for both of those. And I'll bring those keyframes uh, forward in time, just by you know a few frames there. And we'll come here and just kind of offset the in this here, just for the Y position. And those will come from bottom and top. So now we have this, and I think that's pretty awesome. We'll go ahead and select both of these keyframes, the last keyframes here, and hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes. So now we come through here. So, you know, they'll kind of be moving a little bit. It makes it a little bit interesting. Now for After Effects tutorial, so this one we got to be a little bit creative. So what we're going to do is hit S on our keyboard for uh, After Effects, and for both of those layers, hit uh, Add a Keyframe for Scale, and move forward in time. And we'll come here and kind of just scale these, you know, this one down the effects and maybe scale up after effects. So now we kind of get this animation in there. And I think that's pretty interesting as well. We'll make both of those keyframes, easy ease keyframes. Um, and then we'll go to uh, tutorial. We'll open that up. We'll go to animate and click the little play button here or the add button in my case. And we'll add the tracking and we'll come here, go to the first beginning of the uh, end point here, add a keyframe for tracking amount. And we'll move that keyframe forward in time. And we'll come here and just track out the text here. And we'll make the last keyframe here at uh, easy ease as well. So now we have that. And I think that's pretty awesome. Go to our next one here. Now, maybe I don't want to animate this. Maybe I just want to change the background here. So let's go up to layer, new, solid. And we'll just call this one, uh, you know, create BG and click OK. And of course, we'll have to trim in the endpoint and go to the out, the out point here and split that, delete it. And we can put this right underneath our... Uh, create text and what we need to do is go grab the textile tool select our text here and we'll come here and change the color to something that maybe not pure black but maybe like a very nice dark gray like this so now we have this so boom kind of offset it keep the audience on the toes and kind of visually change things up now that the beat of the song is really fast here and the text is not very long i'm not going to add any animation to these next three layers here or for the create text and to the layers here, but I will add animation to the beat. And what I want to do is maybe also copy this background, just duplicate it and put it underneath uh, the beat here. And we'll come here and just kind of keep this on a white background as well. And we'll change our font or sorry, our type color to that same medium gray that we did our dark gray. And then since this word says beat, you know, you can also get creative with, with the animation kind of depending on what the word says. So this is beat and I can kind of see this like beating like a heartbeat sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is hit S on my keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for it. And I'm just gonna come here and just animate the scale up and down by a little bit. And of course, make sure the anchor point is in the middle of your layer. So make sure the layer is selected and hold down control on a PC or command on a Mac and double click the pan behind tool and that will center up your anchor point. So the scale animation will be coming from the center of the text. And we'll just come through here and you know continue to just change the you know, scale position here goes, uh, you know, increasing it and decreasing it. And it's very quick to do. So just something to keep in mind when, you know, you have a very specific uh, word and you want to create a very, you know, a nice animation that fits the word. So obviously that beats and that looks great. Now with Sunduck Film here, we're gonna do something a little bit special. So let's go here to the first uh, frame here and let's go ahead and open up the Sunduck Film text. Let's go into animate and let's add tracking. And then let's also go to animate and let's add an opacity. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring down the opacity to maybe like 17% or so. And then we're gonna also go ahead and increase the tracking. And then we're gonna go into range selector one, add a keyframe for start, go to like halfway through here and we'll set this to 100%. So now we just animated two values very easily. So it's kind of just doing that. And I think that's pretty awesome. Of course, we'll make the last keyframe here easy ease by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Maybe I'll stretch out the keyframe a little bit more. Nice. And then now we have the word subscribe. Now, I didn't really do anything special for subscribe. Um, all I did is I had some extra beats down here and you know I kind of ran out of words for this tutorial. So basically all I did was I duplicated subscribe. And of course, this could be a good idea if you want to get like a, 
you know, a keyword out there and really put it in people's heads. So what I did was I duplicated subscribe and I trimmed it up to the between the two beats here and I kind of just offsetted it. Maybe I changed the, uh, you know, the weight to like a heavier sort of look there. Then went ahead and duplicated it again. It went back to, you know, our lights and, you know, kind of moved it around. So I'm kind of creating like a juxtaposition here. And yeah, that was tough for me to say for some reason. But uh, we'll come here and continue to animate this out. And, you know, now we have finished up the subscribe portion of this. And of course, before we rendered this out, let's turn on motion blur for all of our layers and make sure to turn it on at the top here. Pretty much the end of our tutorial here, but I'll go ahead and quickly show you what we've created if you are following along with this video. This was a very minimalistic sort of style, which I personally love a lot. So. I hope you guys are able to take away a few techniques from this and understand how easy it is to sync up text to a song inside of After Effects. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.